Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and today we're going to have a quick look at this. This is the Field Notes Expedition Edition Notebook and well, I've got to say right now that I think this is absolutely fantastic. When it comes to a durable pocket notebook, this, well, you'll see in just one second when I demonstrate why I think this is so good. So I've been doing a bit of writing in this but I'm not going to show you what's in the front. Um, I will give you a quick demonstration of how different inks take to the paper. Uh, we have got, obviously, our field notes book. Uh, we have got a few different pens to test. Uh, Cross Century Classic Black and 23 Karat Gold. Uh, field notes pencil. Field notes pen, of course. Uh, removed by Friction uh, Pilot Highlighter. And, of course, a uh, Parker IM Fountain Pen. And, well, we'll see how they take. And then we have got... A glass of water. Well, of course, we need to do the waterproof test, but just dive in and have a look at this. Right, we'll just have a closer look here. Um, I don't know if the camera really picks up just how bright day glow orange this is, um, but I don't know as well if you can see the detail on the cover that's also on the orange, but the camera seems to have really a lot of difficulty picking that up. And if we move to the centre pages there, you'll see this is a basic dot grid uh, layout. And I'm a big fan of dot grids, as you may know I love to write on uh, plain paper as much as I can. So this is Upo synthetic paper, and don't worry, I've no idea what that is either. But it means that it's waterproof and tearproof. And when I show you the tearproof, you'll probably be amazed, because I certainly was. So if we dive in first of all with uh, Field Notes Pencil... See how these take? Obviously that instantly takes the paper and it still rubs out as usual. Uh, Field Notes Biro. Once again, that's instantly dry pretty much. If we go for the uh, Cross Century Classic here, once again this is a ballpoint pen and once again that obviously takes instantly. Um, now the two that I don't think will take because these are uh, far more sort of watery and well probably water based ink in fact. Uh, the biro here, uh, the highlighter rather, and yeah, well, you can see pretty much there just how much that is um, not drying. And of course, the uh, Parker IM. And so, if we go for, well, bizarrely, that looks incredibly dark ink compared to what I'm used to because obviously, when you're normally writing a fountain pen, the paper's instantly starting to absorb a lot. And I'm guessing that when I um, rub my finger on this, my finger's not going to be quite so clean at the end of it. Yes. Now, I've, I am normally writing ballpoint and biro, and certainly if I was taking this out and about, like, these are going to be my uh, winter notebooks, as you may know, I do an awful lot of writing and things about the uh, canal and narrowboat. So obviously over the winter now, these notebooks and a pen or a pencil are going to be absolutely ideal. Now, if I show you... The tear proof, this will, well, I think this is amazing. Right then, so, I've got a good um, section here, and I'm going to put all my force into it. And, well, as you can see, at most, I've managed to crinkle the paper an awful lot. If we try this again on the end here. <laughs> as you can see, the paper may be crinkled and creased, but... It is absolutely not torn. And well, I suppose there's um, one final thing now, and that is to fetch our glass of water into play. Well, things are about to get pretty wet, so I think to add um, even more pressure on the paper, we will open it up to the page I've just done those samples on, and well, let's go for it. Remember, I've got a lot of my own personal notes in here, and this is how much I'm trusting uh, the notebook. As you can see, we've got a good old, um, well, soaking glass is in fact almost overflowing. Better be careful with that. And if we pop this up now, the paper is still feeling pretty much exactly as it is. Just a little bit colder and obviously damper. And if I can fetch this across here, you can see it hasn't really absorbed anything. And the water's just running off the surface. But, um, well... If we go over the pencil and the biro ink, and well, that pretty much sums it up. Still absolutely perfect. The pages are still absolutely rock solid. You can see just how much effort I've been putting in to try and rip that there. And well, like I say, the most you can manage is a crinkle. 
And obviously, when you are out and about in the well, real life situations, you're unlikely to be putting this um, paper under that much pressure. So yeah, that is the Field Notes Expedition Edition, which amazingly already seems to them just shaking to be drying off. I'll say thank you very much for watching. Um, check out my other videos, I've got a load more field note stuff, a load more notebooks and organisers, file faxes, um, lovely little Midori um, set up as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, subscribe, like the Facebook page and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.